found a story about some classmates from 1957, a little reunion of sorts. Yeah, many of them got together today. 57 years later, News 8's Tina Detell was there. You might call these folks old friends, but it would probably be more accurate to say they're family. Not Donna. <laughs> That's her. I'm Annie. Annie. I'm the baby. That's her sister. Annie. Oh, well, anyway. <laughs> anyway, we can <laughs> These are the members of the class of 1957 from the Uncasville School. I remember the name, but I. Dark, dark here. Roots run deep. And yeah, I've been all over the world and people have been everywhere, but when it comes to home, there's nothing like it. Yeah, I was a police officer in Montville for 28 years. I'm a retired English professor. They spent K through 8th grade together at what is now Montville Town Hall. Nine years with these people, they're not just classmates, they're family. Did you recognize everyone the first time you saw them? Almost everyone except one girl. This was, what, eighth grade? Oh, no, it was church. church. Back then, it was a place where memories were made. Can I tell you one thing? I was flirting with him and talking to him one day in class, turning around. The teacher saw me and took me in the hall and whacked me with a yardstick. Oh. <laughs> we don't tell sins out of school. <laughs> And now these reunions have become a place where memories are cherished. They meet at the Brown Derby restaurant, where Beverly here was also married. Every time we come, someone else is here. Janet Moody brought them all together. And I get emotional every time I see everybody. Next. <laughs> no doubt this group of 70-somethings Right there. Oh, right there. We'll continue yeah. to make memories together. Some you don't remember, some you do remember. It's been so long, but the memories are so fresh and vivid. After more than 60 years, these folks had their first reunion just a couple of years ago. Now they try to meet every few months. In Uncasville, Tina Detail, News 8.